If you could, what do you think differentiates you from others who were going for the job in Detroit? What, what did you bring to the table uh, without feeling uncomfortable talking about that? You know what, I will say this. Go, the whole way leading up to it, and you're asking all these GMs, current GMs, former GMs, you know, mentors that I've had, what is the best advice? You're gathering all this information and that you keep hearing this reoccurring theme, be yourself. This, that was always like the last one. Of course. Be yourself, be yourself. And I'm like, that just sounds cliche. Like, there's gotta be something else. There's gotta be some other magic sauce yeah. that you sprinkle that you have to nail in the interview. Yeah. And after I was offered the job and just fortunately, humbly, gladly accepted, that was what it all came back to, yeah. is just being myself. And you know, things that, and I don't know, I can't speak on other candidates of what they did in those interviews. Um, I'm sure that they probably were, were themselves, but you know, there's things that I personally, being myself, that I have vested interest in. You know, I, I, I'm very passionate about, you know, the psychology, psychology of decision-making yeah. and, you know, kind of how to eliminate certain biases when it comes to decision-making and, you know, just a ton of books on that that I've read and trying to applying that to, you know, the philosophy and our mm. process and things that I, you know, learned from less in terms of evolution and how process evolution, how that entails. And even with the fusion of how can you, you know, perfectly merge analytics with qualitative data and quantitative data? How do you fuse that equally and have success? So all those things I'm really, really passionate about, but not forgetting who I was and who I was and where I came up is, is like you said, traveling around, scouting, hitting the road, yep. watching that tape and finding good football players.